And welcome back to the show. Well, there was a brand new album that I know a lot of you are going to be very, very interested in. It's the latest album from Steel Rhino called In Rhino We Trust. And of course, this is a band that uh, amazed us a couple of years ago with their debut single, uh, debut album, sorry. And uh, of course, what made this band such an interesting band for so many people out there to follow was the fact that it sees Mikhail Rosengren team up with the legendary Herbie Langham. So we thought we would actually get Mikhail on the phone today to chat a little bit about this brand new album in Rhino We Trust. Welcome to the program, Mikhail. Thank you. Glad to be here. Now, man, I know a lot of people probably thought that the the album that came out a couple of years ago might have just been a one-off, but now we see the follow-up album in Rhino We Trust. Was that always the plan from the very beginning to do more than one album? Uh, no, <laughs> no, it, uh, it was just the first album. Uh, but then uh, I had some songs laying around and uh, and. Uh, uh, and uh, the fans and people uh, were really, uh, really enjoying the first album, and uh, and so I thought that uh, yeah, let's do a second album, but do it, uh, do it a little bit uh, like the newer music, and also uh, uh, learn from the first album and put it in the second album. Uh, so, so we yes, yeah, so we can almost say that the first album was. Uh, our learning album, and this is uh, the second album in Rhino We Trust. is uh, is the 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 the, final, the the album that's gonna put it on the map, if we say so. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, it's uh, it wasn't supposed to be two, but yeah, here we are today. <laughs> what what did you feel that you learnt from the first album? Uh, yeah, a lot of recording, uh, recording uh, the songs and all that. If I go back to the last album, is it's a different uh, recording uh, process. Uh, we have we have put a lot of more hours in recording uh, the new album, and uh, and also uh, a lot of uh, more uh, fill in. Uh, to fill out the gaps between the guitars and bass and drums uh, with uh, some keyboards and uh, choir and uh, and all that, uh, just to make it a, a more f- a full, uh, fullier uh, uh, songs and uh, just to uh, like clean up the the spaces between all of that. Uh, so yeah, probably the recordings, uh, but also. Uh, Finding the the steel rhino sound. Uh, the first album was really uh, let let's do this song, let's do this song, let's do this song. Uh, the second album is more okay. Here is our red line. Let's follow it. Uh, and this is the steel rhino sound we want right now. <laughs> so, what was Herbie's reaction when you said to him, "Hey, let's do another album"? Yeah, he was uh, totally on it. So, uh, yeah. He was like, yes, yeah, just send them over. <laughs> so, yeah, he was on it also, so it was really cool. Mikhail, could you tell us a little bit about your friendship with Herbie? Like, when did it first begin, like, your friendship, and how did Steel Rhino as a band first come together? Where did that idea begin? Uh, yeah, the idea started, actually, when I was playing in another band, uh, and I was writing some songs for that band, and... And the songs became uh, too good, so I was like, uh, "Yeah, I want to keep these songs for myself." <laughs> so let's uh, so let's uh, start a new band, uh, actually a project, if we say so. And uh, and I am a huge fan of Avantasia, uh and also a little bit Firewind and all those bands. Uh, and I uh, reached out to Herbie. Uh, and actually asked him if uh, if he wanted to be part of uh, uh, the, the last album uh, to put his voice on it. And uh, yeah, the rest is history. Uh, he has done an awesome work on uh, the first album and the second album. And uh, yeah, let's see what happens. 
You mentioned that with this album, you feel like you kind of found the Steel Rhino sound. Tell us a little bit about that um, evolution. How how would you describe the sound now that you that we find on this album? Yeah, the the sound on the new album is more uh, more heavy metal, uh, more melodic heavy metal. Uh, like I said, I'm a big fan of Avantasia uh, and also Man of War uh, and Accept. Uh, so those three bands are my inspiration when I write the music. Uh, so I have this heaviness from the American Man of War, uh, and I have this. Uh, riff-based guitar parts from Accept, and I have this melodic uh, choirs and uh, and uh, strings and all that from the Avantasia melodic uh, part. Uh, so I have put like the three of my favorite bands into one band, if, if we say so. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's more melodic, it's more... Uh, more catchy choruses and uh, a little bit uh, faster songs, so not that much uh, of the slower parts in songs. Uh, because I don't like when when a song goes from 200 BPM and then it uh, changed tempo of 200 and then up to 200 again, and yep. or it just breaks and all that uh, because it it uh, destroys the the feeling in the song. Like I think, uh, and uh, so yeah, the newer song is is a little bit more speedier, a little bit to the uh, uh, power metal uh, part, but not not going into that uh, genre exactly too much, but uh, staying uh, true to the the old heavy metal eighties uh, heavy metal part. Definitely. So tell us a little bit about the songwriting for this album. What kind of things were inspiring you when you sat down to work on the tracks for this album? Yeah. Uh, actually, one uh, some songs were from the last album. Uh, so I had some ideas from the last album ready. Uh, so it was like, I think it's uh, the song Strike Hard was from the last album. Uh, but it, it didn't uh, became uh, finished before the last album, so uh, we put it on the new album. Uh, so some songs are from the last album, uh, and we just worked those songs, uh, put some more time into those songs also. Uh, so yeah, we had... Uh, uh, what was the question again? Uh, what Sorry. kind of what kind of things were inspiring you when you sat down to work on the on the tracks for the new album? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, actually, I'm just uh, what's come in my head when I play. Uh, it's uh, it's sometimes I feel like uh, when I listen to maybe uh, some manual songs, I I listen to to the drums mostly. Uh, because I'm a drummer, uh, so sometimes I can hear a heavy, like a heavy beat from the drums, and it's like, okay, if we do this, but we change the drums to this, uh, just to have this, this, uh, this, this feeling when you you hear the song, you want to like raise your your fist in the air, uh, and. So I listen to to a lot of bands every day, uh, but it can be like from uh, from a normal radio to to heavy metal. Uh, so I take inspiration from everything, uh, and then it just uh, mixes in my head, and then it comes out on the computer uh, what I want to uh, it to be. Uh, but I have almost every time a uh, uh, red line like okay I need a song that's uh, a great start song a little bit heavier or a little bit speedier or I need in the middle part I need a one song that goes down a little bit uh, like that so yeah it uh, yes yeah, so I don't have actually any inspiration it's just what comes up in my head Definitely. Uh, and mostly like I said uh, the drum parts it's the 
yes, the part that starts everything. So, um, tell us, with the album about to come out, what are your plans? Are you hoping to actually do some Still Rhino shows, or what are the plans with the album about to come out? Uh, yeah, I want to do some shows, uh, actually. Uh, but right now, I'm just... Uh, I want to hear uh, how the album is taking in the world. Uh uh, I need to this album to be uh, if if uh, people want want Steel Rhino to come and play, we are open to play. Uh, but we need to because I don't want to go to a, a gig and then it's ten people. Uh, yeah. Uh, so so yeah. So I need to see if this album is the album that takes the Rhino to the next level, if we say so. Uh, the next level to to maybe. Uh, have some festival uh, gigs or like that. Uh, it would be awesome, uh, actually. Uh, so maybe something next year. I'm not sure yet. Uh, I'm I'm still in the planning, uh, but hopefully, hopefully more. Uh, yeah, maybe do a couple of gigs in, in the summer next year would be awesome. Awesome. Well, Mikhail, to finish off, what would you like to say to people out there who are about to sit down and and listen to this amazing album for the first time? Yeah, yeah, enjoy uh, and uh, and uh, listen to the songs and uh, have fun because we had fun when we played those songs and uh, keep on rocking because. Uh, Steel Rhino isn't uh, done yet, so uh, let's see what happens in the future. 